What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. We have to talk about something. We have to talk about Apple M1. All right, so I've been using the 13 inch baseline MacBook Pro M1 for a month now. This is my 2019 fully maxed out 16 inch MacBook Pro. I can't even wrap my head around the performance that I have been experiencing. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you so much to Clean My Mac for sponsoring this video. I have been using their product for years now. My sister told me about this forever ago and I use it every single day. And it's extremely appropriate because I wanna talk about how this base level 256 gig MacBook Pro is what I'm gonna choose over an eight terabyte fully maxed out MacBook Pro. Since this does have very, very minimal storage, I definitely have been using the Clean My Mac software every single day because basically a lot of video files take up a lot of storage. Even though I've been using external drives, it doesn't really matter. Somehow this still gets really, really full. So Clean My Mac X is is great because it's an all-in-one cleaning and optimizing software for your Mac. The one thing about computers is there's a lot of old clutter and a lot of old files that are just sitting there and taking up space. And this software frees up so much space and makes your device run like new. SmartScan also does a quick malware check and can run some optimization tasks to speed up your Mac. And the best part is that all of these only take a couple of seconds. So one of the features that I use the most is the large and old file scan, only because video files and Final Cut projects take up a lot of space and it really sneaks up on you. So I'm going through and I'm manually selecting, hit remove, and it's deleting. Okay, it just deleted 136 gigs and that's more than half of the storage that I have available on this computer. Also here with the optimization, we can manage the list of applications that automatically get opened. None of these need to open. We also have the maintenance, the uninstaller, so you can uninstall any applications that you might not want or need. So I think you guys get the point. This is something that I swear on. This is something that I use every single day. And I promise you that if you are a Mac user, you will not regret it. It's going to speed up your computer and you're gonna find files where you're like, I had no idea this even existed. So if you do want some more information or you wanna check it out, there is a link in the description you guys can download. And now that we have more space on our M1 MacBook Pro, let's talk about it. So going back to using the Intel MacBook Pro, I don't think you guys understand how loud this is. I mean, you might understand, you might have seen me complain about it many, many times, but I wanna give you guys a demonstration of Final Cut. So this is just the little tiny Samsung solid state drive that I've been using. But what I wanna do is I wanna open up Final Cut. I'm opening up the same file on Final Cut. So I'm just gonna do a little exporting test. I have the exact same Final Cut file on this computer and this computer. The only difference is that this is actually working off of a solid state drive. So it kind of gives it probably a disadvantage where this is native. But I wanna show you the difference between the fan noises. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send both of these files to compressor. Okay, here we go, start. Another thing that's kind of a bummer is how hot the Intel MacBooks get. There's actually times that this has burned me if it's compressing or if I just have way too many things open. This gets so hot and I just don't think that that's ideal for any type of MacBook situation. Okay, the fan is running. I'm gonna take off my microphone and you can hear the difference between these two MacBook Pros, one with Intel and one with the M1 and how loud this is. Okay. Don't you put this down here. I can still hear it. I can still hear the other one. Oh my God, I gotta put it in a whole different room. It's so loud. All right, and here is the M1 doing the exact same thing. It's silent. No, this isn't a very official test. Obviously there's uh, different variables, but you guys heard how loud that fan is. So this I think is my favorite M1 story. I was trying to do um, Zoom calls, which were being recorded on both sides, my side, as well as the brand side. This is for a sponsored project, like probably the biggest project I've ever done. And I was like, oh, I need this to be professional. And I wasn't able to fly to where they were shooting. So I had to do it here all myself in my office. So what needed to happen was I needed to have Zoom as well as my camera with the cam link so that I could have a professional camera while also having this attached to a bigger monitor. I was using the 16 inch Intel MacBook Pro and it was so loud and so distracting through the fans because you could hear it, you could hear the fan. I'm like, there's no way that this is gonna work. So I switched to the M1, I was doing Zoom, I was running the cam link, I had open PowerPoint, I had open so many things and for five hours, I never once heard a fan. Honestly, my $8,000 MacBook Pro was 
unusable because I couldn't use it unless I had it in a different room. But I'm like, I need it in my room. Until I've used this M1 MacBook over the past month, I didn't realize how distracting the fans are in the Intel Max. While we're actually talking about sounds, Big Sur, I wanna talk about Big Sur for a little bit. I am obsessed with the Big Sur sounds. Okay, this is my favorite one. The trash sound. Oh. Like the undo button, it's such a simple little sound. All of the little sound effects are so cool. What also is really cool about Apple M1 is that you can now use iPad OS as well as iOS apps. And I have been having a very fun time with Nano Leaf. So these are the Nano Leaf ones that I have in the corner. I can kind of just change them by hitting this app and changing the colors, which is an iOS app, but I'm using it on my M1. I'm also really surprised I haven't had any issues with Big Sur. This feels like it's been one of the smoother software updates. Also, Photoshop, Lightroom have all been running really great. Obviously, this is the Intel version running on M1 and it runs perfectly fine. My only complaint that I do wish it was a little bit brighter. The screen is pretty bright, but it's not as bright as I would like. I actually wanna do a comparison to see price-wise the difference between my maxed out device and this. I put both of these items in my cart to kind of compare the price difference. So right here for the 13 inch MacBook Pro M1, it's coming out at $12.99. And for my MacBook Pro, uh, fully maxed out around 6,700. Now don't forget about taxes. Taxes for me was adding like 10%. So as you can see, there is a huge difference of price. And I've been using these little solid state drives. I think these are like $250 for two terabytes. And if I, were to pick one MacBook to take with me, even though this is the base level, performance-wise, I'm gonna take the M1. Now, I also wanna say that obviously things work differently depending on what programs you're using. For me, I'm basically using Final Cut a lot, and that is a product of Apple. So obviously it's going to work better with M1. Yes, I have heard that Premiere doesn't work so well. I don't even know how to download Premiere. That's a lie, I know how to download Premiere. For that also being said, the fact that I've never once heard a fan in this MacBook blows my mind. Let's go get the noisy, the noisy computer. So they're both completed. This completed at 13 minutes, 29 seconds. This completed at 15 minutes, 10 seconds. Really not that much of a difference. This has uh, 64 gigs of memory and this has eight gigs of memory. And this sounded like it was going to take off in a spaceship the whole time. So that's just how I've been using the M1 in the past month. It really has been a game changer for me. Also, I know this video is sponsored by Clean My Mac, but I just, I love them so much. So thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And it really has been making my life on M1 with only 256 gigs of storage basically possible because I'm constantly getting rid of things I don't need. And even though I am working off of solid state drives, it still gets really, really full very, very quickly. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, there's a link in the description if you want to check out Clean My Mac. Let me know what you guys think. Are you on board the M1? What do you think is next for Apple? I didn't even talk about those, but I did post a video if you want to check that out as well. I will see you guys again soon. Make sure you subscribe. Goodbye. Oh, now you're quiet. Now that the video's over, I'm shaking my head.